This potential bill was filed as a prelude to the 2017 Georgia legislative session, and it's not necessarily a new law. It just expands on the current anti-masking law in the state. Uh, what it would do is if it was passed into law was that it would prohibit women from wearing a burqa or veil in their driver's license. The problem, though, is that a law already exists like that. The wording, however, suggests that the restriction would expand to nearly all public places. This is obviously very concerning for Muslim leaders. Last night, I spoke to Imam Sheikh Saladin Wazir, who says that this is an unnecessary law, and the only reason it's being proposed now is because Donald Trump was elected president. The United States is a champion of peace. The United States is a champion of democracy, and it is not wise at all, uh, the approach. What it does is really is adding the radicals group to easily recruit. The radicals, all they have to say is, look, what they are saying to the Muslim women are discriminating, whereby generating and getting the support from these radicals. And we should not aid and give to the radical a gift. Wazir went on to say that this issue was addressed three to four years ago with the then U.S. attorney, Sally Yates. He thought the issue was put to bed then. Obviously not. What he says, however, is that this could backfire on the lawmaker, Representative Jason Spencer, who says that this is the interest of public safety. We've reached out to Representative Spencer to get clarification on the comments he gave to our affiliate WSB last night, but we have yet to hear back from him.